Yellows for the Wind Bungles. I just stand. Uh, this is just before I'm about to do it all. I've done all the preparing touches. It's about to get done up too far. Was that a mess? That's a fool's. All the wallpapers come down. Ram it there. Off the living room. Bag of rubbish. Bedroom. I don't know what I look like, but it's not that big. It's a way out. It's a sofa there, sofa there, table in the middle, TV in the corner, fireplace there. The tools ready to go. Fucking walls in my end. Taking that, be done. That's gonna get redone. Let's see the heat off it. Let's go through the cover that we just saw. machine in there, cooker in there, microwave obviously, decent cupboards, horrible colour, it's going to get taken out, brand new white tiles, or a bit of a clean, tumble dryer in there, Fridge in there, put a hole through there for the tumble dryer because that's outside on the other side of the wall. So, I think that's all there is really. Fireplace, base for the fireplace, fireplace. It's bigger than that, eh? But I took it apart and made it smaller because there's no need for a big frame. Rewired some of the electrics to get them. That's like carpet grippers because I took them out because I'm putting ramming it down. So that's it's a pretty decent size. Two couches and a coffee table. TV in the corner, fresh tank over there. It'll look pretty nice once it's all done like. So here's a wee, wee nice surprise, starter pack, just free, then I have to touch a single penny for this stuff man, 
donated by Jesus apparently. But, no, no. Plates, mugs, a wee bit of food. Towels, man. Dust pan and brush, just what I needed, man. Pots and pans. Knife. I always needed a fucking knife, man. So, aye. Place is coming together quite nicely. Microwave. Post that. Can you post that? <laughs> Kettle. So, aye. Soup going on. Oh. Not much changed in here. Today's the seventh of December. It's a Christmas cheese out. Fireplace. Some idea of electrician because I've got two rates of electricity. Eh? So there's two fuse boxes in the electricity box. Eh? One is a low rate, so that's for all. Of Heating appliances because I've only got electric heating, so you got a low rate for that eh, because it's quite expensive otherwise. And then it's so low rate for it heating, and then I've got high rate for appliances and the sockets and whatnot. Uh, but uh, somebody had this wired in, like the fire was wired in to this, right? So that was the fire, but when the wire went in to the wall, it went into the, sur the circuit for the sockets, meaning that whoever had the fire on before was paying three times as much for the fire than they should have been, because the fire should have been connected to that, which is connected to the fire circuit, but no, it was connected to the socket circuit. So what I did was, I disabled the circuit socket that was there, that's behind the wall, took a wire, added it to this, so there was a wire going in here, then I just added a wire to come out here. Because that's got that function, doesn't it? Comes out under the floor. That was a bastard. I had to get into the floorboards under there. So there's a wire that runs through. It goes in there and out there. And then up into there. Into the fire. And I'm paying low rate for the heating because it's an electric heating there. Christmas tree that Spring Care's house lovely donated. This is all the stuff that I've pulled out for the walls in the whole place. Took that out. That's all fucking banging. These will come in handy for whenever I'm just fixing stuff. It's all about saving your money, you know what I mean? Instead of chucking it in the bin, you can keep it. Saves you buying it again, you know what I mean? Every little helps. All these nails as well, you know what I mean? Perfectly fine. Screws and all, perfectly fine, can use again, a handle, and some bent nails, you might need them, you know what I mean? These things here, these were the grills that were above the doors there, I took, took all the main ones out, the ones that you could see anyway, so I took, took quite a lot of them out there, so there's about six or seven of them, and it's just the ones that you can see. Because they were covered in paint, basically. So what I did was I just painted, just dipped them in paint thinner. And they go on last thing now. Once I've done my painting, I just stick them on the on, on the wall. Just again, just stick it on there. That look brand new. Again, but uh, it's not bad. Saves me money. So probably about a pound each, like what? Rather. Just Seven quid you're saving there, eh? Hey, carpet grippers, they all came out. This this wall's a fucking mess, like, right? but sanded it all down and got it all nice and smooth. Radiators came out. Both both these there was a radiator there, and there was a bigger radiator there as well. Now behind the radiator there was this massive hole and uh, these holes as well, they were already there. Uh, Whoever done it, whoever somebody's taken it before, eh? And they fucked up, and then they tried sticking it again, and it wouldn't go in, so they used fucking glue. It's dead dark, like, and that's obviously the, the fuse box for the heater. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is take uh, that whole section out, basically. 
and just make it new again so that it's nice and sturdy. Just put some new plaster up eh? And luckily, somebody's doing their DIY and all. And there's a skip outside, and I managed to find some plaster. It's a wee bit bent, that one's bent. But there's other ones that, you know what I mean? Once you, once you nail them in, they'll no be bent like. So, that's quite a lot of plaster I've saved myself. You know what I mean? Four sheets, massive bits. It's amazing, like. Totally saving money. Money left, right, centre. This door is going to get. It was, it was a total dodgy. There was a dodgy thing at the bottom. There was a cupboard kind of thing. But that door's. That's the door there. It was a. Uh, that was upside. That's upside down now. But there was a wee vent there, and uh, that used to go in there. And it was an electric. I think it was a heater or something, an air heater in there, and it just. There's, there's a vent underneath and it just runs throughout the house and it's just air goes in this big thing here is the power for it eh? it used to come in go in this heater thing and it used to push air out underneath the grounds there's like pipes and in some places in the house there's like wee vents there's a vent in the bedroom about there and it just so I used to push out air but that's all out now that's the door I'm going to be using. Just slice that up because it's a wee bit narrow in that doorway. Fill up all the holes in the walls. Poly fill up. Put some nice wee handles. Ones before they fuck. So, standard red electricity. And then that's a cheap rate. So you've got your low rate for heating and you've got your standard for appliances, washing heater, uh, so, uh, so it's pretty bare just now, eh? just getting ready to do it now, Let's do it for scratch, so aye, uh, not much apart from that like, not much has changed, Obviously, see, it's just, it's just the wee things that you can do now, you know what I mean? I'm waiting for uh, the paint to come, so, just wee things like this, it all saves time in the end. Took the radiator off, obviously, because I'm going to paint around it, unlike some people before when they just uh, had to clean that within her as well, basically. Had to clean that within her. It was a nightmare like, but got there. Uh, so uh, instead of before, I mean, it's the same story. They just they just rushed it, man. You know what I mean? So it's like I'll show you a picture, but you just look at the picture. That's what these were like. But I've done them all, and it took about an hour to do that. An hour to do that one. And that one as well, all the way up there. It was a nightmare, man. Holes again, need to fill them. Wallpaper in here, took that all out. It's a nice smooth part, man. Just a nice plaster surface, man. Nice, just waiting for painting. Was a double glazing in there, and they took the fan out for now. I'm gonna be painting behind it. Electrics and that. I'm gonna connect it up to the lights so that when the light switch is on, the fan comes on instead of a wee separate switch can save some. Fucking electrics. Um, this is quite a big hallway, eh? I would say. Right, so you're coming in, put your shit through, and you want to switch the light off, you have to walk all the way to this hall to switch it off. But I'm just going to put a switch there on that wall there. Yeah, so we just connect it up to the light so you can just switch them off at either side. But for that, there's not much else going on, right? Not much in the kitchen. Uh, this doorway was squint. It used to be squint before I fixed it. It didn't shut before. It didn't shut because the gap there was too big. Because the, the main frame that goes around the door, this section was squint. So I just basically took that bit of wood off, took that bit of wood off, took the skirting off, took the skirting off the top, uh, 
Uh, took about six four inch nails, put it in that, put, put it this, just flipped a bit of wood round, stuck it all together again, chiseled a new fucking thing, screwed that in nicely, and it shuts perfectly. Jobs are getting. The walls were a bit of a nightmare, and this specifically, especially this one, because it's uneven basically, uh, the, the plaster don't match the edges and there was a, a TV up before which I think somebody just yanked out the wall so that had to get filled up uh, I'm not going to pretend I did it somebody else had done it before me but I mean there's like a few holes in that whatnot there look at this man they fucked up the job here so they tried again and they fucked up that one and they tried again all the same socket that's three owners have been in, in this house, and uh, so 1970 it was built. But uh, the walls are nice and nice and took taken down. The kitchen, it's the same story in there. There's some shoddy workmanship up there. There's a fan. I was hiding behind the fan, that mess up there. They taken a fan out and moved it around and then put a new fan in or whatever. But I uh, took all the wallpaper off. It was it was like. Just the plain wallpaper that was painted. So this is what it looks like. I'll explain all the different bits and that afterwards, like but what I'm like I'm what I'm getting up to and that. Pretty bare. This is what it looks like before. It was worse than this before, eh? This this is there's been a few changes since I moved in. But it's pretty bare just now. Then it for scotch. Then it for scotch. There's a horrible red that was in this room. Scraped it all down. That wire out the cupboard out and all. Doing it properly again, getting paint right in, in the back, the one to do it shabby. They've obviously done it before, eh, but they didn't take the cupboard off, they painted over the cupboard, cheeky buggers. So, uh, all my equipment. This is what it looks like. We've got a shoe cupboard. But you still have one of those. Paint over the windows, obviously. Put it there in the barn. So this is what it looks like now. I'll show you a wee video afterwards to show you what it looks like. I'll show you a wee video afterwards to let you see how it looks like now. So, this is what we've done so far. We up there. Spare uh, uh, insulation for the water tank. That's been done. Some insulation on the door as well to so stop the noise. Bathroom's been painted. Fan went in last thing, fan went in last thing, nice tidy job man. Uh, rewired it, there used to be two fuse boxes up there which made it quite ugly. So all I did was uh, took them out, filled up the holes, uh, as you can see nice and smooth. And I just rewired it so that when the light comes on, the fan comes on. And that's obviously Your typical fire heater, man. Still at David Pace's, eh? Yeah, so. I still get painted white, so it looks a bit shabby just now, but the walls have been done, like. Got another door for the kitchen. I moved the cupboard to the kitchen, and this new one's gonna go in the cupboard. Yeah. Thank you.
somebody gave me a nice recline up chair. That's pretty nice. Three of course. Uh, found these stools. This is a living room so far. So we painted it a nice dark green. It's gonna look nice with some some brown laminate, man. It's gonna look amazing. Uh, a nice a nice table there. Just finished doing this. So I need to do now is just trim it and uh, paint it. I have to take obviously what you do is you take all the sockets off the wall when you're putting lining paper up there. And the way I do it is, you put the lining paper, but before you put the lining paper, you put a screw sticking out, so that when you when you, when you you fold the lining paper onto the wall, the screw pops out through the paper and just flatten it. It means you get a nice flat surface and you've got the screw, and you just get out to stand the knife and just whoosh, whoosh, cut it a square, following the edges of course. And then they paint it and the socket's going last minute, last thing. Uh, that's going to be a lime green, same lime green as there. I bought a cooker, eh, but it's fucking, look, it's the wrong fucking size, man. Fucking way, this place must be bigger than I thought. It's a standard cooker that goes in there. Finished doing the kitchen. Nice grey ceiling, because it's going to get pretty mock it, and uh, uh, fucking, like, wood grey. Surrounding, see, good great. It's a nice wee corner in there, like. Get some light in. Got this. Got this bl pair of blinds, right? They're fucking impossible to use, eh? I don't know who bothered fucking putting them in, like. They're stupid. Eh. Uh, so, I. Stools. I found two of them in the skip. Just a wee bit of rust on them, eh? But suede, man. Gave them a nice wash. Just a nice wash down, and it looks. Look at that. Pretty decent, like. I've got two of them, and they fucking swivel. Swivel on stools. You ever seen them before, man? So, right, that's the kitchen. Nice crisp lines, man. Look at that. Then it get much tidier than that, like and obviously faces is still get done. Nice lines and a bright green around the window to match the toaster, obviously. So that green there that you see is the green that's gonna be on that wall there. And that's the last wall to paint. The very last wall to paint. Can't wait till it's done though, it's gonna look amazing. And the scurtains, uh, laminate, buy some laminate. Laminate goes down. Skirting boards. Because what I'm going to do is, I've no money left there, eh, but I'll set, I'll fucking return the cooker and get like 280 quid back. So that gives me a bit of spare cash, like, get things like blinds and laminate. And light shades as well. And I need sofas. I'm getting them second hand, so about 40 quid for a suite down at this place. They refurb them and everything, man, it's amazing. So uh, that's pretty much all that's been done.